Silent Doctor. And we have a turtle. And this is an Eastern Long Neck Turtle. It's actually a wild turtle that I've had in hospital for a couple of weeks now. It was handed into another local veterinary clinic who took an x-ray of it. And we're a bit alarmed because it has swallowed a fish hook. And the fish hook is sitting down in its stomach. And we've had it in hospital for a couple of weeks that are x-raying it every week or so just to see if it was moving or not. And that hook has not shown any movement whatsoever. So today we're going to get it out. And this turtle's laying nice and still because we've already anaesthetised it. And so we're going to have a look down in its stomach and see if we can see the hook and use the endoscope and get it out. And if we can't get it out that way, we'll take it to surgery and remove it. And we'll see how we go. So this is the x-ray of our turtle. And it's pretty obvious what's going on here. So you can clearly see that fish hook. And that's sitting in the stomach. So it's not in the neck, so the neck's through here. So it's got all the way down. And it looks like it's probably sitting in the top of the stomach. So I've had a look down into the stomach of this turtle and we could see the fish hook but uh, weren't able to grab it and pull it back up. So we're going to take it to surgery now. So I've got it positioned laying on her side, resting on a towel here. And the reason of that is the access point is down here in front of this rear left leg. So I'm going to make an incision down in that skin, go through the muscle, find her stomach, open the stomach up, get the hook out, close the stomach up and close the skin up. So we've got it hooked up to the ventilator, which is clicking away under there. And that swishing noise is the heartbeat. So we have this turtle anaesthetized. She's all draped up. We've prepped up down in here. So I'm going to make an incision in the skin down into the body cavity and see if we can find this fish hook. Right, so I've made my incision through the skin and I've gone down through the muscle. And you won't be able to see it on the video, but down deep I can actually see the lung and some of the intestine sitting down inside there. So I'm going to have a bit of a poke around in that, see if I can find the stomach. And we'll actually lift that stomach up, make a hole in that, go in and actually find the, the fish hook. This is a female turtle, that's an ovarian follicle. Nice bright yellow, that's basically the egg yolk of the egg. So that's not what we're after. So I've just gone into the abdominal cavity and had a bit of a look around and you can see here I'm holding onto this pale tissue. That's actually the wall of the stomach. So I'm going to make an incision just here. There's a little blood vessel here. I'm going to avoid that. We'll make an incision just along this side here. And then we'll have a bit of a feel around in that. We should be able to get that hook out and uh, stitch her up. So I've just popped a pair of hemostats. That's these instruments here into the stomach. Just trying to feel if I can feel the hook or not. And what I've actually found first up is a piece of fishing line. So as we pull that, I'm going to gently pull it. Obviously at the end of that, there's going to be a hook. So, I need to follow that down and undo the hook from the wall of the stomach. So you can see that line coming out. Here's the knot at the end. This is the shaft of the actual hook here. So I've just got to manipulate this find out which way it's curved into the stomach wall so I can back it back out properly. So there's our hook. Not particularly rusted, so I don't think it's been in there very long, but we've managed to get that out pretty quickly actually. So I'm gonna close up that stomach wall now, and then the muscle, and then the skin, and wake this turtle up. So I've stitched up the stomach, and popped it back down into the body cavity, so now we've just got to close up this hole. So there's actually a layer of muscle on the inside here that I'm going to grab, stitch that shut first, and then we will stitch the skin shut with a couple of little stitches. Alright, so I've stitched that muscle layer closed, so I've just got the little bit of suture material here to cut, and then we'll close the skin up, and we'll wake this turtle up. Now I'm putting the skin stitches in, because I'm going to keep this guy in hospital for a while, and We'll dry dock it for the next probably 10 to 14 days and then we'll start to put it in a little bit of shallow fresh water for an hour a day 
for a little while and for probably a week or so and then it can go back into a holding tank that I have and we'll take these stitches out in about six weeks and once it's in the holding tank we'll start to feed it again and once I'm satisfied that it's eating on its own and the stitches are out we can release it back into the wild. I'm just putting the last stitch in here three little skin stitches so it's not a big wound that we have to make to access it it's really just a hole to get the stomach up and out of so we can find the hook and pass through and we are done so wake her up give her some pain relief and she should be fine